Oh, hi. Okay, those little revolving things are going to make it hard for me to do my favorite bounce attacks. So what were you? A soul twister. Highly intelligent bug that uses arcane knowledge to twist soul into vicious spells. Yeah, you were a little bit more vicious than some of the other enemies. Ooh, the soul sanctum. Music change. I think it still counts as the map, though. I'm gonna go to the right or to the up. that mistake once a highly intelligent bug deformed by the misuse of soul that was a neat little trick didn't even do that on purpose apparently get on it too early stuff like that happens so we can take the elevator to that side or we can come around Oh boy. Starting to combine enemy types. Jeez. These guys actually have some hit points. Does this give us soul? It does. Okay. Record Ava. This mind still limits us so. How to break past its constraints? To attain a pure focus, is it even possible? do get dream from enemies occasionally. I don't know what procs it. Nope. Take multiple hits. My bad. I don't know why I was thinking that was, that was one hit enemies. Up that opened the gates. I think there actually there might have been a reason to take this path. Nope, never mind. So they kind of all inter interconnected. Ah, we technically don't need to take this. We can just wall jump. But why not? Oh, is this gonna be a boss? Looks like a boss chamber. His fighting style definitely did not lean, lend itself to uh, healing. I don't know why I keep opening the map. We don't have a map in this area. Okay, 
so they still boomerang back. Even with these guys. That's these little magician dudes. Oh yeah, we should also read the entry on the other guy. Soul Warrior. Learned bug, wielding a refined pin blade. Enhances its combat prowess with harvested soul. Now, should we be going up or down? So, oh, that probably opens this gate. Take an elevator further up. I guess we'll go down first just to see what's down here. Enemies seem more aggressive. to lead somewhere we bit out oh, other side of the gate cool is this something that we'd marked on our map as we couldn't get past of course not uh, okay so it looks like they just kind of loop around on each other as long as these aren't the type of enemies respawn should be okay well Mistakes are fine. They're easy. It's the other guys that are a little bit tougher. So now we can take the elevator. See what's going up. We don't need to break that because we don't need a soul. I think they will come back later but I can't say that for certain. We might need it sometime, so. Okay. I decided not to play around with them too much in that spot. got a little hairy there for a second. Yeah, when they have freedom of movement, that makes it way tougher. And I already forgot how we got in here. Like, is that a new path? I think it is. But that, no, that's how we got in. Okay. So this was blocked off. Looks like this does lead somewhere. Lots of flying mistakes, which are a new enemy type. We'll have to take a look at that in a moment. I must say, yeah, there should be one more somewhere. So, what was that? Folly. What's a highly intelligent bug? Inflated by misuse of soul. Oh, hi. Stinking journal. And what we got here? A spell twister. It's a charm. Uh, reflecting the desires of the soul sanctum for mastery over soul. And improves the bearer's ability to cast spells. Re ah, reduces the soul cost of spells. So that actually could be pretty neat. So I think. 
think that's all there was to this little spot. Now we can go left. Or we can check out more of what's down. Interesting. You yeah, can't break it like that. So this gets marked whenever we have the downward break ability. Okay, there might not have actually been any reason to go down. That's fine. Ooh, that looks like something over there though. So, oh yeah, left's the only way. Okay, the music stopped. That's a way to build up a lot of soul. Ah, uh, this screams boss fight to me. That also screams boss fight. And so does that. Call it a heal. Oh, took way unnecessary damage there. Tried dashing out of the way. Still stuck in the heel roll, oh, though. No. Oh, tricky. That actually got me. I got lucky. So quick to move around. Oh, I was already full health. Never mind. Warping. Getting annoying. Well, not annoying. But, uh. Making the fight take longer. There we go. Guess he wasn't done yet. 
Oh, it's this one I learned how to destroy the ground. Oops. I don't know where that's coming from. Ah, oh, I need to stop trying to heal. Out, oh, we cast one behind me. Okay. No more healing for the moment. Just focus on avoiding. There we go. Now let's get some healing going before phase three or something. Let's look at the journal entry first. Soul Master. Head of the Soul Sanctum. Hoarded soul, hoping to stave off hollowness affliction, but eventually became intoxicated by its power. Bugs of hollowness tried to all kinds of tricks and rituals and prayers to rid themselves of the infection, but to no avail. Perhaps the infection came from somewhere deep inside of them that they could not escape. Consume the Desolate Dive. Tap B while holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power. Spells will deplete soul, will punish soul by striking enemies. So we now have a lot of marks to go fill. Because we have an ability. Let's also heal a little bit. I know they gave that to me so I could use this ability. But we can get more of it that way. Locked gate there. And that's one of the places we'll use it. But first, what's up here? A chest. A lot of geo. One of those. Now I wonder if those show up when we destroy those kinds of things. We get more soul here if we needed it. Oh, nice. Oh, hi. Plenty of these guys floating around now. Apparently I accidentally hit this. That's fine. I would have done it anyway. Okay. Can we do this in the air? We can. Hollowness seal. Not oh, more follies or mistakes. Looks like we've defeated enough mistakes. These fools meddled with the soul of other creatures and lost their shape. Now they skulk around the shadows of their sanctum like slugs, hoping their old brothers will build them new bodies. I also see our caterpillar friend off to the side there. Oh, here we go. Why am I trying to heal? Which just caused me to take damage. Don't worry, Caterpillar friend. I'll come rescue you. I like how many enemies they are. They're giving me a bunch of souls.
or not soul, uh, Geo. Now this looks like a different path. Oh, that's probably how we proceed out of here. We got other plans for the moment. You're free! Yay! Alright, now let's get out of here. Yeah, we have a lot of markers to go clear now. Well, I say a lot, but... I don't know how many of them actually were. Yeah, we haven't marked any of this. Okay, we're underneath the boss fight arena now. That's new. Or not new. That'll give us more soul if we needed it. Which means we'll probably need it. Alright, it's just all over the place. Apparently you have to be close enough to the ground, because it wasn't letting me do it from higher up. Uh, just want to look at the map. Some of the... Oh, I think this red one we're coming up on. Yeah, that's the only one of those we've marked. This should all be places we've been. Yep. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, here, markers... Remove that one. Now, have we been on this side? It's an elevator. Oh, okay, never mind. We have been here. That came from up top. Uh, so I think we could take this elevator down. Same with this one, then. I don't remember what that orange marker is for. Uh, it'd be helpful if we were to fill in the map, so let's go to that bench. I think that's part of the issue I'm running into right now. can't see where we're at on the map. Oh, looks like Cornifer's gone as well. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth? Purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price. Alright, let's take a look now that our map should be updated. Uh, actually, it looks like we have most of it. I think this path eventually joins back up at the resting grounds, maybe? Oh no, there is a little section there off to... Well, let's do it this way. This little section here, I don't know exactly where it goes, so we should check that out. I think this is actually, if I recall, a door that we couldn't open from the other side. I don't know if we'll get high enough to see the ceiling there but we could try and then after that it's mostly through here which does have another down path but for now we're aiming for there hi friend Actually, this is, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, up from here and then to the left. Well, let's see where this takes us. An 
ornate door made from glistening metal. Insert the elegant key? Sure. Wonder what that unlocked. Oh, you're back. Hoping to get a cheeky heal off there. Okay, that got made much more complicated with the addition of the follies. Yeah, that guy wasn't too bad the first time. When it was just him, and we knew we couldn't heal. But happened to dodge him and the guys flying around. And I doubt they'll be nice enough to put my spirit on the outside. What is that above us? Oh, that's probably how we get out of the room. Or another way out. I'm trying not to trigger the fight yet. bounce off the wall again. Okay, hopefully that means our spirit's in an easier spot to get though. Oh, now I'm just blowing this. Be a bell fly we're hearing, right? I'm not seeing any on the ceiling, so that's where they hang out. Go get some soul real quick. Also, just to make sure that uh, it is one of the bell flies or whatever I'm hearing, or bell fries. So 
that was a caterpillar that we rescued. How do we get over there? Not liking what I'm seeing at the moment. Okay, I was right about that symbol. Like I think that's even representative of a switch we have to hit. It's It doesn't look like the floor is weak in any spots. Oh. It's very possible we haven't been over there. So we have to loop down and to the left and then up. Okay, those sounded more like Belfry eyes. I think we have been here actually. Yeah, we've been here. See the bell fry now. Yep, we can leave here. Got my goal of full soul. time for sure. Height going. Yeah, he just punishes healing so hard. Oh. And I died on the wrong side. Actually, we don't have the Fragile Greed anymore. Uh, reduces the soul cost of casting spells. Oh, actually, you know, remember when I was talking about how we didn't have the ability to heal? This might be best. Let's put that theory to test. On there. Let's see, blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The bear will have a healthier shell and can take more damage, but they'll not be able to heal themselves by focusing soul. So originally we're at seven. One, two, three, four, five, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that raises us up to 10. Zero chance of healing. Since that fight, we don't get opportunities to heal. Kind of counting on that to work for me. There we go. My goodness. And I think we only needed to defeat him one more time to get his journal entry. I can't remember if we read all the folly either. I've heard whispers that the secret these fools were searching for was immortality. To live forever. I've never heard of anything so obscene. Okay. Uh, he would have been... Soul Warrior. Where these strange warriors go, whispers follow them. Not only are they skilled with a the nail, they can also use some strange power to shift suddenly from place to place. Stay on guard. Okay, nothing really going that way. A figure connected to a device. Examine closely. Sure. <laughs> Consume the Shade Soul. Tap B to unleash a more powerful spirit. This spell consumes the same amount of soul with increased power. Oh, that could have been handy to have. That's fine. Definitely worthwhile. Let's give it a little test. It's black. Okay. Yep, that's how we get back down. Cool. We want to go back to the bench, though. We're also going to have to pay a visit back to the guy who sells the, the fragile charms. I want to go back to the bench is because we want the ability to heal now. So, remove this one. I think it was Soul Catcher we were using. Let's also use Spell Twister for now. We'll replace that with Fragile Greed once we have it again. Here, we know 
that path where it leads, the one with the uh, orange spot. Well, we don't know where it leads, but we know we need to open it from the other side. So let's see if we can't get to the roof of the other spots. Also, we never took the lower path of that chamber, so we'll try that as well. She goes to send straight down on the side. Oh, we actually never opened this path up. However, we got at least some of that guy so we don't fall straight onto it. Ah, oh, I didn't want to go up. We have checked out those rooms. Well, actually, we could have went straight across. No, we need to go down. This isn't the bottom, is it? No, it's not. Take, I don't think. I'm just not sure if we got everything from here. Only reason I'm trying to check it out. we have been this way. In fact, actually, I think this was the way we had to proceed up initially. some of that geo to off the stage. Okay, we can't jump any higher like that. You know there's gonna be some flying dudes around here that aren't friendly. Okay, and I do think we tried the crystal dive to either side. I think this is as high as we get in this stage. However, there's also... A lower path on an elevator that we never... A lift that we never took the whole way. This was the lift that we could have taken all the way down. So there's a left path that's not mapped and a right path that is. And I don't know what the symbol is. So I guess we'll check out over here. Almost goofed that one. Also, have we discovered if we can swim or not? We can. But obviously the poison wouldn't work, but... Okay. 
might still be able to shoot across if we have to. That stuff doesn't hurt us. These are easy enemies. Also, now I'm going to be curious if there's anything in the water that we might want. This kind of seems like a... I don't want to say amalgamation of zones, but seem to have multiple backgrounds in there. Also, we're going to want to see what's over there, if we can. Hi, friend. Hmm, Vendasu. Have you brought me another nail to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later, if you're still breathing. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repair, then you've come to the right bug. Your own nail is in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill, even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Ah, uh, yes. Pay Geo to strengthen nail. Wish we would have found this guy a long time ago. Like, before Jones those boss shot. fights. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Garadel Akari. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. Uh... I just want to see what it looks like in the inventory. Sharpen nail. Cool. Traditional weapon hollowness. Restored to lethal form. Hmm. Vendasu. Hmm. You're still here. Is there something else you want? I see you have some pale ore. A rare, fine metal. That. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Uh, give pale ore and geo to strengthen the nail. Yes. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I skipped this guy. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've added a channel to your nail. Should cut much more efficiently. You'll find it stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its blade against your foes. Yeah, now it's a channeled nail, a cleft weapon of hollow nest. The blade is exquisitely balanced. Hmm, Vendasu. Hmm, you're still here? Is there something else you want? If you bring me two pieces of pale ore, I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. Alright. Now we just need two of those. Let's see what's to our right. Okay. Just takes us all the way back. Uh, we're one shot in them now. How about these guys? Okay, they still take. Well, not still take, but they take three shots. Uh, it's not quite double damage. Or one for... Like, it's not quite one damage for each, because those used to take three. Now they take two. So it's not a perfect, like... Each upgrade adds, like, one damage, I guess. But still, for those boss fights where it takes multiple, multiple hits, something like this would be nice. So that concludes the left path. I guess we head right. Uh, 
Sorry. So this is the path we haven't seen yet. A mechanism with a simple keyhole. Use a simple key. Uh, yeah, I think we picked up another one. Oh, so that leads downwards. Uh, we might poke our head into there. Where does this lead first? get to the other side of this spot. Put a mark here. Also, does this go any higher? Does not look like this. However. Oh. Ooh, I almost messed that up. We can't get any higher either. Let's continue this way. Let's see if it doubles back around. Actually. If I'm not going to mark this the traditional way. The Royal Waterways. Okay. This definitely requires a Lumafly Lantern. It's good to know. Ooh, you look creepy. Oh! So what are those? The Pilflip. Odd creatures that adapts to changing situations by flipping over using the limbs on the other side of its body. Okay. So this is a whole new zone, it looks like. Not quite ready for that yet. Still got more city tiers. 